The person that made this video is not a trained electronics engineer and will not be liable for any fires or accidents that may arise from borrowing any of his wisdom. What's up YouTube? This video shows how I went about adding voltage controlled resonance to a ladder filter, but allow me to give you a bigger context of how I understand filters. In theory, filters are very simple devices. They simply cut off a frequency spectrum from a signal that's presented to them. There are many types of filters, but in this video I'm basically discussing the low pass filter. Filters can also be designed in many ways, and again I'll be limiting myself for now to ladder filters. The MOG style if it chooses transistors, and the Roland TB303 style if it chooses diodes. A ladder filter is made up of the following building blocks. The audio input, the ladder, the voltage control, the output, the feedback or resonance. Now all these blocks present options for the designer to tweak the response of the filter to their own test. Now, if you want to mix several audio inputs into the filter, you may need an op amp at the inputs. But if you're not, you're okay just leaving it out like I did. This is the part of the filter that does the actual filtering. If you use transistors, you'll need to bias the bases via the biasing network. But if you use diodes, that will not be necessary apart from the topmost and bottom transistors. In fact, you can even leave out the topmost transistors and connect the diodes straight into the positive supply and the filter will still work. Now, the output is taken from the ladder and even here you have options on how to treat it. You could use transistors, an op amp or as I did, an OTA whose gain is fixed through a resistor to ground. Resonance is created by feeding back a portion of the output signal into the filter. Traditionally, this is done by having a port that sends less or more signal from the output into the filter. This is a part of the filter that makes it responsive to control voltage or to be precise, control current. Interestingly, we could replace this whole section with a variable resistor to ground and the filter will still work. But that's not what we want. We want to do fancier things by controlling the filter with an external control voltage instead of having to turn a knob all the time. And while we do that, we probably want the filter to respond exponentially to the control voltage. So here comes in the famous exponential converter. In simple terms, it is the transistor which turns the incoming control voltage into exponential current that controls the filter. You have the option of having an elaborate circuit that will temperature compensate the response of the filter, but I chose to keep it simple. The main point of this video was my journey to have voltage controlled resonance in a filter. This is not a common feature with VCFs, but I think it adds another option to modulate the sound in interesting ways. I decided to use an OTA in the feedback because its gain can be controlled by current going through its bias inputs. So that is why I added this part of the circuit which converts an external control voltage into a control current which then controls the gain of the feedback going into the filter. And there we have it, voltage controlled resonance. If you found this video useful, consider supporting me on Patreon, which is where I post all my ongoing projects. Thank you.